You see that little red shed back there? Can you believe that we sell over $100,000 in honey and other farm products out of that little red shed? All self-serve, mostly cash, with very little effort. If you'd like to learn how we sell so much of our farm products out of our self-serve honey stand, continue watching the videos, click subscribe and follow. We'll be putting out a series of videos on how to sell and market your farm produced products. A lot of the things we talk about won't just work with honey, they'll work with anything you're making off your land. So if you're producing chicken or eggs or farm raised beef, or vegetables, anything at all you're producing off your land, the techniques we talk about will work in all them too. So follow along with us and we'll learn together and hopefully we'll make your farm products profitable. So let's start the video out by taking a, a short little tour of our uh, farm stand here and talk about what a farm gate sale is. A farm gate sale basically is taking an item that you produce on your property, usually a agricultural property, taking that product, marketing it, and selling it to people that show up at your property to purchase it. Um, most uh, towns and townships have allowances for people to sell products they produce from their land on their land to people. There are two types of farm sales. There are those farm gate sales that the person shows up to your property, they communicate with you, so they either bang on your door or they make an arrangement to show up on your property. Um, they show up, they exchange the goods, you sell it to them, they pay you, and then they leave. And then there are those farm gate sales where you're not always going to be around and you're going to set up some sort of a store that people can show up at, pick up those goods that you have for sale, and then pay you in some way and leave to complete the transaction. So you have to decide at your place what type of farm gate sale best suits you. Um, I get a lot of uh, new immigrants um, that come to our farm stand and they bang on the door of the house even though it says self-serve on the door of the honey shack here. And they bang on the door of the house because they can't physically pay for something without somebody knowing that they took money. Um, because, and they've told me or, or voiced to me that if they did something like this at home, people would steal everything uh, in here. So you have to look at where you live, uh, the jurisdiction you live, the crime rate at where you live, and see if you could physically have a self-serve honey stand or self-serve uh farm stand of some kind um, or you may have to revert to having one-to-one -one communication with people that come to purchase items from you hey thought i'd uh, come on over to the beekeeping shop i'm sitting down in the bottling room where we bottle our honey and before we went any further i thought i'd introduce myself uh, my name is brian scott i am a uh, commercial beekeeper in beautiful innisfil ontario canada my family and I operate a company called Innisfil Creek Honey. We produce uh, honey, we produce bees. We have a beekeeping supply shop where we sell beekeeping supplies. We also ship throughout Canada. Um, and we, uh, we produce a lot of honey. Uh, we, have some, we need to have somewhere to sell it. So uh, we do a bunch of farmers markets. Uh, we do sell honey from our beekeeping supply shop. Uh, we do wholesale honey to some retailers um, and we run our self-serve honey stand. Uh, the benefit of having a self-serve honey stand, even though we have these other revenue streams, is with the self-serve uh, honey stand, um, it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, if people are driving by and uh, a normal store would be closed, it's open, they can stop in whenever they want. So there's a convenience factor there for our customers. Uh, there's a convenience factor there for us because 
we don't have to have one-on-one -on -one communication with every person that wants to buy a bottle of honey. Um, the other benefit of it is, is that we make 100% of the money off of that at a self-serve honey stand. Whereas if you're selling things wholesale uh, to uh, retailers, uh, you're selling it at a discounted price so that they can make money. If you're going to farmer's markets, you're paying to go to the farmer's markets, you're paying for your booth set up, uh, you're paying for your labor to be there, which I, I think a lot of farmers don't even look at that part of their lives. Um, so the, the farm gate sales are a fantastic way to make some extra money. Uh, it's almost a passive income because you're really just uh, collecting the money at the end of the day and loading it back up for people to uh, pick up the next day. Uh, it's not quite as simple as that, but that's it. So uh, I'm going to try to put out a video every couple of weeks or so. If you'd like to uh, learn how we make honestly over a hundred thousand dollars off of that self-serve honey shack um click the subscribe button continue to watch our videos and like i said i'll try to put one out every couple weeks if you have any comments or questions put them down below um i'm willing to direct these videos in any way you would prefer um you are the people watching the video so uh put a comment below if you have any questions i'll include it in the next video Anyways, everybody have a good one. Uh, enjoy your life. Enjoy your friends and family. And, and hopefully make some money.